If you have a Celestron telescope that has the Hyperstar compatible secondary mirror, you need to know about this cooler. is the Starazona Cool Edge. And what this is, this is a product designed to go on the front of your Celestron telescope. And it allows you to cool the optical system down quicker than any other thing on the market. Now there's of course been SCT coolers in the past that have come out, but of course this one's just a little bit different because this one is designed for you to be able to put your secondary on and you're going to be able to cool your optical tube down several degrees over just a course of a couple minutes. Now how this works is you'll take off the front ring here on the secondary mirror. You'll attach the bottom threads here that go on, so you'll kind of thread it on like this, and then you will put your secondary mirror in the housing up here. It has a little notch here on the side that you'll be able to put your secondary on, thread the collar on, and so it is cooling off your primary and your secondary. Now these are good for whether or not you have an Edge HD or just a regular SCT. So these are compatible with both. On the regular SCT, you'll have to take off the back dust cap. You'll want that back port to be completely unobstructed so that the air can flow out. If you have an Edge, you have vents located on the back of the optical tube here. So you don't simply need to do that. You can just leave your eyepiece or camera in as is and it will vent all the air out to the optical tube system. Looking at the build quality of this, you can tell it's nicely made of solid aluminum. You've got some nice threads up here that thread onto your secondary mirror housing. You've got this nice mesh with a nice filter in there. And then these larger threads here on the top, this is where you'll put your secondary mirror. Now you can see it does have a notch right here for that groove on your secondary mirror to line up at all times. It has a very nice high power voltage fan on the front here. So let me show you how this guy works. We're going to take this collar off right here up top. That unveils our collar ring here. And then this allows us to be able to take our secondary mirror out. We're going to line up the groove here on the side so this secondary is going to pull straight out. Just like that. And we're going to line up that groove on the side here so that the secondary is in flush just like this and then we're going to put the ring back on just like that now we can install this entire assembly on the objective here just place it right over and thread on And just like that, installation is now complete for this. Now what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to take that power supply, plug it into the 12 volt plug that's located right here, and that will give us all the power that we need in order to cool down the optical tube. Now off the back here, there's a big airflow current coming through here. This little bit of receipt paper will show it to us here how much airflow is coming out the back and this allows the ability to cool down your optical tube several degrees in just a few moments now when you're done you're simply just going to take your cooler off the front and what that's going to deliver you is a nice cooler optical tube system that's free of the heat flumes that go up into the optical tube and that's also going to allow for a lot clearer images not only for visual but also for photographic if you're interested in picking up this device it is $149 for no matter what model, whether you have a Celestron 8 inch, a 9 and a quarter, an 11 inch, and sometimes I know in the past they have made one for a C14. Now these are only compatible though with those that have the Fast Star secondary system retrofitted on them from the factory from Celestron. So if your telescope does not have one, you'll either have to buy a conversion kit to make yours a Hyperstar compatible or you'll have to find a different way of cooling. As always, thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time. Clear skies to you as always.